Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good morning, or good afternoon, wherever you might be. I want to welcome you to the first stream or a video from the Recon Talk series. I've decided to make a blog, and um, so I created a website that I'm still working on. It's under construction. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys go there. It's uh, recontalk.net. HTTPS, uh, recontalk.net. I'm going to start blogging. It's easier for me than creating videos. But since most of you know me from, uh, from YouTube, well, the few people that know me know me from YouTube, I would like to go ahead and uh, give you an excerpt of this, re this article that I wrote. It's an opinion piece on why <clears throat> I believe that Jake Paul's ego is the real reason why he never fight a boxer. So all this came about because I was watching a podcast with, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and there was a lot of MMA fighters talking about the Anderson Silva, Anderson Spider Silva fighting Jake Paul. And uh, they were saying that this is going to be his choice test, so forth and so on. And then they were asking, why won't Jake Paul fight a boxer? So I put my two cents into it. And it basically closed like this. Jake Paul's ego would not allow him to take a fight that will not make money. Big money. Because then his whole narrative about underpaid boxers would go out the window. Because he were to fight journeyman boxers. Like other journeyman boxers have to, we all understand that those paychecks are not the greatest. So, Jake Paul has to leverage his fame. He has to find a dance partner that has as much or more cachet than he does. Because that's the only way that fans are going to pay for the pay-per-views. If uh, you don't believe me, look at what happened with the Hasim Rahman Jr. fight. Now... Jake Paul says that it was canceled because of weight. The guy, Asim wouldn't make, did not make weight. Excuse me. <clears throat> Asim could not make weight. And, um, but that fight was, it wasn't really generating any buzz. I didn't hear anybody talking about it. You know, it was kind of dead on arrival. So, that's one of the reasons why I don't think he'll fight a, um, a real boxer. He wants to skip the line and go for the, tier boxers, the high name boxers, high profile boxers, but you can't skip the line. You, you have to pay your dues just like everybody else. And the reason number two I say his ego is in play is because if he loses to Silva, it's not a death blow because Silva is a famed MMA fighter who can also box. But if he were to lose to Raman Jr., then his name would go down. His stock would go down. And he needs that name brand, name brand recognition, not only for his ego, but he's trying to build a brand as a promoter, not only as a boxer, but he's trying to bring a promoter brand. And his name alone and the fact that he's fighting is allowing him to start signing fighters. I mean, he is co-promoting one of the biggest Puerto Rican stars right now in Amanda Serrano. And that comes from the cachet that his name has and his ability to pay and make uh, things happen for her. All right. So those are my thoughts. If you want to know more, you can go to the article. I'll post it in the description. You can read for yourself. Leave comments here. Leave comment there. Let me know what you think. Am I full of crap? You know, what, what's going on? Tell me the truth. I can handle it. And also, try to support the blog because making videos for me is really very, very difficult um, because I don't have a lot of time. I'm studying and I'm doing a lot of things. And, and I can type up a blog way quicker than I can produce a video. So, everybody, you know, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next blog. Peace.